nothing like having family argue about politics over the holidays. It really warms your heart. Can't wait until next year. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. I'd rather spend next holiday season in a white padded room. Paula Abdul is suing the former producer of the show's American Idol and So You Think You Could Dance, Nigel Lithgow, accusing him of sexual harassment when she was a judge on both shows. It's taken a long time, but Nigel has finally worked his way up to being even more despised than Simon Cow. Good job, buddy. Snoop Dogg will be providing commentary on the U.S. coverage of the Olympics in Paris of 2024 if he can remember what the hell happens during the competition. For those of you living in a cave, Snoop ties for the gold medal of weed consumption by the ton in fierce competition every year against Willie Nelson. Snoop's blood type is OG Kush. A report showed that female musicians dominated the UK charts in 2023 with the best-selling albums and singles. Women spent 31 weeks at the top of the UK singles chart and accounted for seven of the year's 10 biggest singles, which just goes to prove that women can make shitty music just like men. Aim for the stars, ladies. Rapper Clifford Harris and his wife and singer Tamika Harris, who are better known by T.I. and Tiny, are being accused to have put their nose or toe where it doesn't belong. An Air Force veteran going by Jane Doe and I can see the puzzled look on some of your faces. Who's Jane Doe? Jane Doe has alleged they drugged her at a party and then brought her back to their hotel room where Tiny showered with her and then laid her on the bed and held her down before T.I. stuck his big toe in her vagina. This really sounds like there's a crime afoot. T.I. said he was just trying to show her his new Air Force buns. Michael Jordan would be proud. (laughs) Fans are speculating that because they saw Ariana Grande in a shirt that says, Yes, and, on the front, that it must be the title of one of her new songs and or her new album. I'm speculating that the B-side to that song must be called, No, But, All the Curves of an Arrow. Lead singer from Metallica, James Hetfield, said that he'd love for someone to invent a microphone with a built-in straw so he could sip some water while he performs. He said he also has great ideas for other inventions, such as an outlet for a laptop inside a swimming pool, invisible cars, and breathable condoms. He's having trouble funding these projects. I can't see why. System of a Down drummer John Dolmayan said that Kanye West should show some class and that his wife Bianca Sensori isn't to be his trophy. She's your place of pride and dignity. (laughs) Has John Dolmayan been living in a cave for the last decade? Does he know who Kanye West is? Besides, it's Sensori that's willingly posing and going out in public in outfits that look like they were prescribed to her by her dental hygienist. This brings us to our wonderful sponsors, Nasital, the Ariana Grande clothing line. For the girl who has everything, except curves, only comes in sizes square and rectangle. Stringless guitars by master inventor James Hetfield, otherwise known as Not Guitars. The Metallica guitarist is quoted as saying, hey, wouldn't guitars without strings be awesome? Yes, James, they're called any other item, ever. Order your stringless guitars today for a box of random items. Watch the whole video for context, people. Now I'd like to document a story under the Who Gives a Shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? New information has come out about R. Kelly not being able to read past the grade school level. Previously, six women accused the rapper of attempting to stop the 2018 New York City screening of the Lifetime docuseries Surviving R. Kelly with a mass shooting threat. The women were awarded $10.5 million in August of 2023. R. Kelly said he would dispute the case if he'd known about it and that he has to rely on his lawyers to explain things to him because he can't read. I'm sure they didn't tell him about this very insignificant detail of six women suing him for millions of dollars. 
I also guess he doesn't have an understanding of dates and numbers and subtracting those numbers to come up with the age of girls, or else he would have known not to stick his illiterate penis into those underage girls and pee all over them. To R. Kelly's plea that he didn't know, I say, who gives a shit? Hmm. I guess he didn't learn math growing up either. Netflix released a documentary called The Greatest Night in Pop on making the song We All the World from 1985. Hmm, the greatest night in pop? They've obviously never been to an Elton John party where there was enough cocaine to choke all the talent at SeaWorld. Here's Spanky the Dolphin indulging in some fine poontang at one of Elton's parties after doing a toot off of her butt cheeks. Bob Dylan, move over. Ice Spice shared a teaser for her new song with this line. Think you the shit, bitch? You not even the fart. What poetry. It really flows right off of the colon. And they say music is the worst it's ever been. The song, Baby One More Time by Britney Spears, is celebrating its 25th anniversary in 2024. The song plays in the background on a Britney Spears post on Twitter slash X, stating, Something's coming. Hopefully it's not another nervous breakdown. Cheap joke? Yes. Accurate? Also yes. Billie Eilish said that she set up cameras in her music studio during the making of her third unnamed album that will show her fun side. Now all her fans can see her wearing all black while she cries in the corner and shows you her collection of 950 different shades of black eyeliner. Very fun. Sammy Hagar was a guest on PBS's Finding Your Roots where he learned through a DNA test that his last name isn't Hagar at all. He found out that his last name is Belcher. He also found out that his middle name is Shitfarter. I would cry too, Sammy. Allow me to take a bow for that fifth grade joke. Sometimes you just have to kill some time. Spotify has accused Apple Music of stopping at nothing to protect their profits by charging extra transaction fees and will charge up to 27% commission on app developers selling products away from the Apple Store. Spotify criticizing Apple Music would be like Ted Bundy criticizing Jeffrey Dahmer of being disgusting and evil for also eating his victims. I guess there really is no honor among thieves. Shawn Mendes was seen diving in the snow and sledding with just a pair of shorts on and nothing else, finally settling the debate on whether or not he's white. I think we all know the answer now. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. Hey folks, why did Elton John chase the male chicken across the road? Because any cockle do!